Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz is here with us this morning, here to reveal for the first time on national television her successful battle with breast cancer. After a year of treatment and seven major surgeries, she now has a clean bill of health. Her personal battle is over, but her fight to help other women with breast cancer just begun because later today on Capitol Hill, she'll introduce important new legislation that calls for a national breast cancer education campaign targeting women under 40, right. which is so key. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, gosh, thank you for having me. When, when you called me last week, um, it just took my breath away. I had no idea what you had, had been facing. Tell, tell folks when you first realized that you had, uh, had breast cancer. Well, a little more than a year ago, I uh, was doing a routine self-exam in the shower and you know, did that occasionally, not, not, not super regularly, but found a lump in my breast, and, or at least what I thought was one. Mm -hmm. Had my husband check it to make sure that it was what I thought it was, and a few days later went to the doctor, and then the, the, the roller coaster began. You were 41 at the time? I was 41. So right. you had heard, like everyone had heard, you know, 40 years old, that's when you start um, I, checking. And I had just had my first mammogram two months before that, and it showed nothing. So I was, you know, really not mm -hmm. uh, not prepared for for what I found and you know I, I the focus uh, for most uh, for, for young women mm -hmm. is on 40 it's a fixation on 40 and so if you're not 40 you know so so many young women in America think they're invincible and they don't think about be, being able to get sure. breast cancer it's just not something they focus on so you start on this roller coaster and uh, you decide just to tell close friends and and family right and you didn't until this past weekend right. tell your Saturday night. Saturday night, you told your children, right. nine-year-old twins right. and little five-year-old Shelby. Mm -hmm. You just told them this past weekend. I did. How did you sit them down and tell them? What did you tell them? You know, I didn't sit them down. I did it more casually. Mm -hmm. um, my daughters were in in the playroom uh, watching TV. Um, I just, you know, had them. I had my daughter Rebecca mute the television and. Just you know, sort of casually mentioned. Remember last year? They knew I had surgery, and I said, "Remember last year when mommy had all that surgery?" And I told you that you know I had something inside my breast that needed to come out because it didn't belong there. I said, "Well, what I had was breast cancer," and you know my nine-year-old Rebecca's eyes got really big, and Shelby was you know only half paying attention. And uh, I said, "But it's okay now. Uh, everything's fine. I've I've gone through all the procedures I need to go through, and and I'm going to be okay." And I just wanted you to know because. I'm going to introduce a bill, and, and they know what that is. Right. They, they, they're they're going to introduce a bill to try to help other young women who uh, might get might face breast cancer, so that they can uh, know what their risks are. And that it was uh, it was good. And then I brought my son in, who was at baseball. When he came in a little bit later, I sat him down on the couch too. And it was very important. His to reaction you. was funny. What, what was his reaction? Uh, you know, he he was like, "But you're okay, right, mom?" And uh, I said, "Yeah, no, I'm 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 good." Shelby said the same thing. Um, Jake said, you know, Jake was, you know, asked me a couple questions. Shelby said, but you're okay, Mom, right? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. She said, okay, good. And then she ran off to play, and Rebecca had the most questions. Well, we have video of you with your family in <laughs> September while you were going through this. Yes. And, you know, you're vibrant. <laughs> you're working. You didn't miss any work. No. You, you scheduled your surgeries around congressional breaks and that. It was right. very important. You wanted to live your life. I did. I, I really wanted to make sure that I could protect my children. I mean, they were eight and four when I was diagnosed, and I wanted to make sure that I could confidently, with a, good, with a clear conscience, right. tell them that mommy was going to be okay. And I didn't want it to define me. I wanted to mm. make sure that I could get through the year, you know, as Debbie Wasserman Schultz, mom, congresswoman, hot wife. Wow. But not, wow. you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, who is currently battling breast cancer. You know, any time a reporter wrote something about me, I just didn't want to be that to be the tagline on the end of my name. You know, and cancer as I, wow, <laughs> I, I hear you talk about this because it's true, it's not one size fits all. No, it's Everyone not. has to do what's best for them. That's right. And when you called me, you said in part because you are introducing legislation today. Yes. It's going to change some lives. Tell us about that. It's called the Early Act. The Breast Cancer Education uh, and Awareness Requires Learning Young Act of 2009. And it's designed to educate, to, it'll, it'll kick off a national education and awareness campaign focused on young women because young women do think that we're invincible and we don't think about it. And it'll also focus on educating physicians because some, so many times physicians blow off a young woman when she comes in with symptoms or warning signs that, because they don't 
focus on that young women can get breast cancer. And we fight with insurance companies because oh. they're saying, what, well, you're not 40 yet. That's right. It's a constant battle that you, even the diagnostic testing for, for younger right. women may not get covered and then you're struggling on the phone with your insurance company. And then there's also an important focus in the bill on providing grants to organizations that help young women get through the unique challenges that we face. I mean, some, if you haven't had, I was lucky, I've been married for 18 years and I have three children, but so many younger women, you know, they're at the beginning, uh, that they are single, they, they'll have to deal with dating, they'll have to deal with the fact that they have reconstructive surgery and they won't necessarily, they won't be able to breastfeed children down right. the road and their fertility is compromised if they go through radiation and chemo. I was fortunate I, I avoided radiation, radiation and chemotherapy, but this will provide grants to organizations to help young women get through the unique challenges that they face. Well, bless your heart for doing this. And <laughs> I know this you. was very difficult. You're a very private woman, Thank although you. you're in the public eye. I'm glad that your family took it so well. Why not? You are such a, a shining well, my example. My husband and my friends and family were wonderful. And now I hope that we can educate young women across the country. Well, we'll do it. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank you very, very Thank much. All the best to you. Thank we look you forward too. to that legislation today. Thank you. Thank you.